got Trump. Oh, right here in River City. Right here in River City. With a capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for poo. That stands for poo. We've surely got trouble. We've surely got trouble. Right here in River City. Right here. Remember the main Plymouth Rock and the Golden Moon. No playing at Chan, now playing at Chan has in dinner theaters, the music man. Today we are joined by Michael Gruber and Ann Michaels. Uh, thanks so much for coming in. This is one of my favorite musicals. It's okay. so fun. Me too. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. It's a lot of people's favorite. Well, okay, so Ann, why don't, um, for those people who don't know, go, go into the details a little bit about what this is about. Well, The Music Man is a story about a traveling salesman who comes to a small town in Iowa, mm -hmm. River City, and he's going to perpetrate a con. Mm. He's going to try, to try to swindle them out of a lot of money by um, selling band instruments and uniforms, and he's going to make a boy's band to keep the town pure, out of trouble. And uh, a lot of things happen during that time in River City, which sort of derail him. Michael, I, I know both of you have lead roles in the show. Tell us about your character. Well, I play Harold Hill, mm -hmm. who is the con man who comes in uh, to the town to do what he does all the time, which goes from town to town, selling these boys' bands and then leaving. And uh, he gets caught because he falls in love. Mm. And uh, he finds his, you know, his heart is sort of reawakened, which is slightly different. I mean, I think what's special about this particular production is that we lean into that a lot more, that underneath, uh, underneath he, he's really got a strong heart. It's just that in a way it's been uh, covered up. So this has kind of got a Midwest connection because it was written by Meredith Wilson, who grew up in Mason City, Iowa. Uh, I read in, in our local paper here that uh, the whole cast kind of took a field trip. What was that like and what did you gain from it? Well, it was just actually Michael and I who went down oh, really? with the okay. director okay. and some marketing folks and a couple of people from the Star Tribune, Neil Justin, who's a, a writer for the Star mm. Tribune. That's his hometown. Mm. So he kind of was our tour guide throughout the day. But we, um, it was really amazing to be able to walk through Meredith Wilson's childhood home and see pictures of his childhood with his mother at the piano, uh, directing them in piano lessons and pictures of them with their horns. Meredith Wilson was a star, world-class piccolo player. Mm. And it just really made it real because uh, he fashioned most of the characters in the play, the musical, off actual people in his life. Mm. And so it just made it particularly poignant for us. And were you, what, what, what did you take away from that? How did that in, influence your role? Well, I think that you have to look for the humanity, mm -hmm. deep, the deep humanity behind it. And it's not, you know, people are complex. And uh, behind every agenda that we might have, I think, there is a side of, of wanting to connect and, and have a and do something good and, and I think and these are real people and I think the tendency sometimes with old old older musicals is that you caricature them a little bit or you make not make fun of them but you 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 kind of remove yourself a bit mm -hmm. from the situation mm -hmm. and I think being there really made me second uh, really think through that this was a this is a real guy who, mm -hmm. who you know lives in this situation. Well, I know I'm excited to see it on Friday and you have the chance to see the show too. The Music Man is now playing at Chan Hassan Dinner Theaters through September 5th. Tonight's show is at 8. Tickets range from 68 to $93. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for Our having pleasure. us. Our pleasure. Thank you.